Hi, um, this video was on my hard drive. Um, I don't remember the exact date that it was made, but it was on my hard drive for a long time. And I never uploaded it because this was like right when like race relations were at their absolute worst. And everyone was getting raked over the coals for even the slightest thing that could be misconstrued as racist. So I thought the video was way too spicy to upload back in the day. But I've rewatched it just now and I'm like, damn, this is tepid. So, um, we are going to post this video. And I sure hope that it's okay. I sure hope that this doesn't get me cancelled. <laughs> Maybe it will. Let's fucking find out. Oh my. Well then, Kyle Larson is in the news. Um, Kyle Larson has been indefinitely suspended by NASCAR. This video has gone through so many different iterations at this point. Like, there's just so much that's happened in just, like, the last two hours that I've had to completely re-go about how I was going to make this video to begin with. So, Kyle Larson has been suspended from NASCAR. What did he do? Did he beat his wife? Not that I know of. Is he on meth? Allegedly. No, that's not it. Did he try to solicit sex from an underage girl? No. So what did Kyle Larson do that has just completely turned the face of NASCAR upside down? He said the forbidden word. Hey, nigger. Ah, shit. Here we go again, gamers. Kyle Larson said the forbidden word during a um, invitational iRace um, that Landon Castle, of all people, was hosting. And um, Alan Bestwick was on commentary for this race. So, like, that's interesting. Larson himself thought that he was talking on a private channel with his spotter, when in fact he was actually speaking at everyone. So that's a big oof. F in the chat. So immediately, obviously, everyone picked this up. Twitter was absolutely on fire last night. I can't believe that I was actually able to go to sleep last night while this nonsense was ensuing. We've all been cooped up for about a month now, so like, we've been, you know, building up this energy that we need to release and finally there's a chance and all the memes there were so many memes so many memes and ever since this morning publications mainstream garbage rag publications have started picking this up such as renowned legitimate news organization the daily beast i wonder what the replies to this tweet look like they make no attempt to hide their racism Next recipient of the Medal of Freedom from Trump. Boycott NASCAR. Yes. Yes. This is the reason why you should boycott NASCAR. Not the, uh, not the fucking downturn that they've taken in the past two decades. Why would you expect anything else? Look at where most drivers come from. The reply to this tweet. This guy is Japanese and from California. So yeah, Larson completely, completely just absolutely ended his own career last night. That was just beyond comprehension. And there's so many people on Twitter that are mad about this. The hordes of white, mostly. 665 likes. And you know what my favorite part about when stuff like this happens is that it's always these white 25 year old millennials that are the most mad about it, that are just absolutely screaming from the rooftops about everything. It's always the white millennials that are offended on behalf of an entirely different group of people. Most of the people that I have seen on Twitter who publicly identify as African American have been pretty chill. You know, Bill Lester, he's not happy about this. But like a lot of people that I follow and a lot of people that I've seen just on Twitter you know, they're like, yeah, Kyle, this was really fucking stupid of you. But all he needs to do is just apologize for it. And on the other hand, you have people like this. Very normal. 
but obviously, you know, the people who are the most mad are always the white 25-year-old millennials who are just, uh, just to just wait in the wings, wringing their hands in, in anticipation for the next scandal to hit the Twitter scene. If you want my 100% honest, unfiltered opinion, I really don't care. What Larson did was incredibly stupid. In fact, it's probably the dumbest thing that he has ever done in his life. I don't know. I don't know what he did as a teenager. I don't know what kind of antics he got on with down in Elk Asian. I think it's Elk Asian. I don't fucking know. Elk Grove. I don't know. California. I don't know what Larson did as a teenager, all right, but this is without a doubt the dumbest thing that he has ever done in public. It's not even close, all right? Does that mean that he should have his entire career destroyed? because he said a six-letter word. Come on, guys. Like I said, it's really just the 25-year-old white millennials that are mad about this, all right? Like, all these publications with their, you know, their young fan bases, their young white fan bases, you know? Like, they're gonna obviously be super pissed off about it because they're super pissed off about absolutely everything. But most of us are going to be able to look past this and move on with our fucking lives. But yeah, NASCAR suspended him over this, and this actually is consistent with how they've um, worked with this in the past. Because Corey LaJoy did this at one point. I don't know the full story with Corey LaJoy, but Jeremy Clements is another one who used a uh, colloquialism that happened to contain uh, the forbidden word in it. Now, I'm not excusing it, obviously, but, like, that's just your context. When Jeremy Clements had this happen to him, he was immediately suspended, had to undergo sensitivity training. I can't imagine what that's going to be like. Um, and then he was suspended from NASCAR until he could do that. Until he could complete that program. And that's basically exactly what happened to Larson. But at this point, um, it's pretty clear that beating your wife is less bad when Travis Quaffle was arrested for a domestic dispute. He was arrested, charged, he bailed himself out of prison, and still made it to the track in time to race. Like, they didn't suspend him. NASCAR did not suspend Travis Quaffle for getting arrested for beating his wife. And I'm not saying that Larson shouldn't be suspended, even though I know that when woke NASCAR Twitter grabs a hold of this video, that's exactly what they're going to say. No, Larson obviously should have been suspended for this, for fuck's sake. He obviously should have been reamed. He should have been dragged across the coils. Basically, by the time this shit's uploaded, it's going to have been probably, what, almost a full day since this, you know, happened. And he's been getting dragged over the coals the entire 24-hour day-night cycle, guys. Like, he's been abs his reputation has been absolutely destroyed at this point, alright? If he can complete the sensitive sensitivity training, whatever the hell it is, alright? If he can complete that, then let him back in, alright? <laughs> Give him his seat back at the 42 for fuck's sake. Like, come on. His career should come to a fucking end because he said a word. For fuck's sake. Are we children? Yes, this is Twitter we're talking about. Obviously we're children. So yes, I'm glad the NASCAR was actually consistent for once. They really should have suspended Quaffle back in the day, but that's in the past. But I'm actually glad that they were consistent for once. They did the same thing that they did with Clements. That's a very good thing. I'm very glad to see NASCAR being consistent for once. But we all know... That it's not my opinion that matters. Who's a moody bitch? On Monday morning, as this commentary glows on the computer monitor, there has been no public comment or confirmation from either Lawson or Nesca on the topic. That almost certainly will come, but it hasn't yet. Thus, it is both fair and prudent to use the word Allegedly, when discussing what Larson apparently said last night. Last night's incident, if true. Last night's alleged comment, regardless of intent or context. You're being a little, uh, a little overly sympathetic there, Dave. I know you probably have had, you know, lunch 
with Kyle and his family, but it it's it's pretty clear what happened, dude. It, it's it's very clear, in fact. Dave, Dave, is there is there something that you want to tell the audience about certain people? Anything you want to share with the class? Anyway, yeah, that's gonna about wrap it up for this video. So I am very very disappointed with Kyle Larson. Why'd you have to do this? But I am not going to stop being a fan. I'm not going to burn this hat in some roid rage, you know, clip to end this. But I do think that I might just have to replace it with a different red cap. Thanks for watching.